Hi there, I'm Rebecca and a really warm welcome back to my channel, Pumpkin Becky. In this week's video we're going to take a moment to appreciate the autumn colours in my bonsai trees. Let's get started. I've pre-recorded this video for you because this week I am out and about doing my sponsored walks for hearing dogs for deaf people. If you would like to sponsor me then please do feel free to go ahead to my Just Giving page and sponsor Katie and I as we do our Halloween walks. It was going to be a two day extravaganza, it's kind of turned into three days now. <laughs> but there's still time to donate if you would like to. So this is just going to be a really gentle video just to look at my trees as they turn into their autumn colours. Not all my trees. I have several um, evergreens and um, coniferous trees which won't change colour. But here are just some of my deciduous trees. This is my maple forest which I bought from Ken at Windy Banks Bonsai Nursery in Carshalton in Surrey. I got this little Zelkova from a, quite a prolific seller on eBay. It was a lovely little tree, but some of the branches are a little bit thick for the scale of it, so I'm trying to rebuild it a little bit. It was really refined, it had lovely ramification when I got it, but it quickly became clear that uh, the canopy needed to be reworked and yeah. So it's it's not looking its super best right now because I, yeah, I am in the middle of reworking it. This is my Chinese quince, also from Windy Banks Bonsai Nursery in Carshalton. The lovely thing about going into this time of year and into winter is you can really start to assess the branch structure and I can see areas here that have got a little bit of inverse taper and maybe I want to identify them for some rework. This tree wasn't especially strong this year, it didn't have an awful lot of foliage so um, I may have to keep my work to a minimum. But it's useful to document the tree and then be able to review the images. Somehow it allows you to be more, more critical. My ginkgo biloba is from a lovely little bonsai nursery just outside Cheltenham in Gloucestershire. I picked it up on the way back from Malvern Spring Flower Show. I understand it's quite an unusual shape for a ginkgo. They're normally grown in a sort of clump or flame shape. This is my Cotoneaster Orange Dream, which flowered beautifully and is now rewarding me with berries as well. Here is flowering cherry Kojo no Mei. At the moment it almost seems to be turning into a windswept tree. I need to build some more branches on the other side. I 
This is a little leaf lime or Tilia cordata which I bought as a starter tree from Corinne Tomlinson. And here is a beach, also bought from Corin. This is maple katsura, not to be confused with the actual katsura tree, they're very different. <laughs> Right, well, that's our little tour around my bonsai trees. Some of them are more modest than others, but they all teach me something, and I think that's important, that we are always learning. Right, that's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to rate, share, and subscribe to me here on YouTube. Please also, if you would like to donate, go to my Just Giving page the link is in the description box down below and until next time bye, bye.